that's I, can give, I can give you all the information you need about this beer. What do you need to know? It's in a can, and inside the can there's beer. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Times Leaders Beer Gang. Uh, we're in a different room today for various technical reasons, uh, but we are back there again. There was a broken light yeah. in the other room. Uh, I guess that's really the only technical reason. But <laughs> um, So uh, we're back again with another local beer. This one is a brand new one from Breaker Brewing Company. It's called the IPA, spelled E-Y-E-P-A, hence um, why the can design has eyes all over it. Oh, um, so oh yeah, they are eyes. Uh, I didn't oh, think yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you notice that? Yes, I did. Oh, yes. So, so two of us are observant. Two of us can use our eyes. <laughs> They're so smart. <laughs> uh, so, according to Breaker Brewing's Facebook page about this, uh, they say that it is a double IPA brewed with uh, two row flaked oats, raw and white wheat. Uh, it's whirlpool and bio hopped with citra and El Dorado hops, then uh, double dry hopped with Simcoe and the mighty mosaic. They say. Uh, it has notes of mango, candied orange zest, tangerine, and white wine. Uh, this one has... Can you tell me what that all means? It just has a bunch of different types of hops in it, is, is essentially what it comes down to. And this has a 9% IBA, uh, uh, ABV. ABV, yes. Uh, and uh, does It is an IPA. Yes, and it's an IPA. Uh, it doesn't say what the IBU is on it. But uh, I thought it was not as bitter as some of the other IPAs. But let's start with Kevin. Uh, what, what did you think? You, you, you previewed a, a, a strong opinion yeah. that you had about it yeah, upstairs. So, so. I'll actually, I will agree with you that it wasn't as bitter as the last one we tried on this show, mm -hmm. which I think was the first IPA I had ever had. Mm -hmm. So that, that was what I was basing my opinion off of on, on IPAs in general. And this one really sort of entrenched that. I was not a fan. It While it's not as bitter, I think, as the last one we had, it's still bitter as like you know it's super bitter yeah uh yeah I, I i got a very specific memory from this beer and i'm not sure if this is going to make sense to anybody watching at home but this beer tasted like a saturday morning soccer game like when you were like an eight-year-old <laughs> kid yeah and you had to get up in the morning and you smell like the bug spray and the grass and the paint on the grass mm. that's what this tasted like to me and it's not a good thing I think if we were talking about any of the other five senses, you'd be like, oh, that's, that sounds pretty good. But that's what that tasted like. I tasted bug spray and, 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 like and, and, and grass, clippings. grass clippings. So I, I really wasn't a fan. The can looks great. I, I can't believe those are eyes. That's crazy to me. I was not paying attention when I was drinking <laughs> last night. But other than, yeah, not overall, not really a big fan of this. And just not a big fan of IPAs in general. It's nothing against Breaker because I've had a lot of really good beers there. This is just one of them. Right. Uh, now, uh, before we go over to Lauren, because I know that you are not also the biggest fan of IPAs, I figure uh, I should act as a buffer between the two because, you know, I am kind of the IPA guy on this show. Yeah. Uh, I really like this one. Uh, I, I definitely get the, the notes of... Um, the mango and the orange zest, uh, and also the, the white wine flavor too. I think I think it has a lot of strong fruity flavors to it that kind of ride underneath the bitterness of it. Um, I like this one a lot. Uh, I, I recommend it personally for people who are into IPAs. I think this is a good one. Uh, Lauren, though, what do you think? Uh, okay, so I'm not the biggest fan of IPAs. <laughs> Uh, but I definitely like this one a lot more than the one that we had last time. Um, I found it to be like a little bit more um, sweet, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Um, it wasn't as bitter, but I really, really love the packaging again. So. Right. I, I, I think that is perhaps the biggest draw of this, uh, the, the package design. If I saw this on a shelf, I would definitely be very attracted to it. Uh, Joe, why don't you crack it open? And well, I, I want to address the packaging, and I, I love Breaker Brewery's beers. Mm. One of the, the problems I have with their beers, though, is when you go up to their shop and you go in and you're looking at the cooler and you're trying to get something, if you don't know what the beer is looking in the cooler, you have a very hard time trying to that figure is out a what you're buying. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and, and then now those people up there are as helpful as all hell, and all you have to do is ask. Uh, but sometimes you just want to go big browse and want to go in and pick out a beer or two. Sometimes that's challenging a breaker because you really have to look at the can for a while to figure out uh, what you're drinking. So Breaker, if you're watching, eh, 
maybe you want to put some uh, little tags in your uh, refrigerators telling us what, we're, what, what what's in there. I mean, that might be helpful. Just, just a suggestion. Just throw Fair some enough. things out there. Well, but, give it a try. But now I'm going to try it. Now, I want, I, before I drink it, I want to say that I, I am a big fan of Breaker. I've, I've had a lot of great beers up there. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one. I'm usually not a person who likes a lot of fruit flavors in their beer, but let's give it a try. Now, while Joe is trying that, I'll say that this beer has a nice light uh, color to it. Um, it's very oh, cloudy. That's not bad. Yeah, that's it, not bad at all. And I, I don't think I don't get any bit, really any bitterness at all for an right. IPA. It's very smooth. Right. Uh, maybe it's a little you know the a little fruity for me. Uh, which, like I said, I'm not a big fan of fruity beers, but this cer certainly this is a fine beer. I don't know what these other two clowns were drinking. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you did take home a can that looked like this, right? Yes, that was the can I pulled out of the fridge. You literally yeah. cannot miss it. Right. Yeah. But I get it. I mean, like, IPAs have such uh, a strong and specific flavor to themselves that, like, if you don't like that, you probably won't appreciate the nuances of, of different IPAs. No, I think, that's, I think that's a really good beer. It's smooth. It's... Like I said, it's not bitter really at all, I don't think. Uh, you, you do get that little fruity sensation to it, but it's not overpowering. Uh, it, this is this is a type of beer, like if I was going to sit out on my back deck and uh, maybe have a cigar and watch a ball game and I was going to have a few, this is definitely a beer right. that I could sit down and have a couple of. Probably not too many, though, because of the 9.7 right. ABV, but... Yeah, watch out for that. <laughs> uh, other than that, yeah, I think it's a really good beer. Right. Well, this is available at uh, Breaker Brewing Company, uh, so you can just head on over there if you want to pick it up. They're up on Northampton Street. Yes. From here, you just go out in this street right here. This is Market Street. Make the left. Go over to Northampton. Go straight up Northampton. If you hit the top of Giants Despair, you've gone too you've far. gone too far. <laughs> Way too far. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but I think that does it for this week's episode. Uh, as always, if you want to support what we do here, the easiest way to do that is to subscribe to the paper, uh, which you can do by giving us a call at 570-829-5000. Joe is going to keep drinking the beer. Um, and remember that if you are a subscriber, that means that you are automatically entered into the TL Cares. You could win a thousand dollars this Friday yep. if you're a subscriber, or if you get the Times Leader, you could pick it up in the store. You could go to our e-edition online. You get the code. There's a code in there. You got to find the code. Sometimes we hide it on you, but you find that code. You go to TimesLeader.com/slash. Enter. I said slash Tony. I didn't say backslash. <laughs> slash enter, and you enter that code, and it gets you an entry into our TL Cares program. You can win a thousand dollars in November. You can win twenty-five thousand dollars, and you can buy a lot of beer and pizza with that. Absolutely, it's a thousand dollars per week to the weekly winner, plus a thousand dollars donated to the charity of the winner's choice. Plus and, the twenty-five thousand dollars at the end of it all. And I am working on getting a Joe Soprano fund has uh, <laughs> certified as a five hundred one nonprofit, and once I do, you'll be able to donate to that. Donate straight to straight to Joe. Uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, we will be back again next week when we try another beer and let you know what we think of it.